Welcome back, ladies. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. I blew out your eardrums. Anyhow, welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls. And those of you who don't know what the hell you are yet, hop along. PR here. We are finally back playing Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Now, I know it doesn't seem like a while for you guys, but it's been about, mm, about a week since I've touched this game. So, yeah. I remember I'm supposed to be looking out for the fog and seeing where all it goes, but other than that, I'm not too sure. Oh, hey, cutscene. I'm doing something right. Uh, hmm, doesn't look like the fog's touching yet. Wow, is this your house, Estelle? It's absolutely lovely. Uh, you really think so? Thanks. Well, anyway, I can fix someone... I can fix everyone some tea or something, at least. Come on inside. I'll handle making the tea. You head on up to the room upstairs. The, uh, why? Look up, Estelle. <laughs> oh, right. My house is going to get pretty damp in this fog. Mm-hmm. Shara knows what she's talking about. Trust her. Boink. How irresponsible of whoever did that to leave it open. I mean, honestly. Ah, it's always relaxing to get back home. I kind of wonder how much of this is because of all that fog, though. <laughs> That's part of it, I'm sure. Shara, you know Estelle's house pretty well, don't you? Of course I do. Know his house for a long time. A very long time. Yeah, you've been coming over since Mom was alive, so that's over 10 years. Wow, it has been a while. About that, give or take a few gray hairs. Uh, Shara, I hate to tell you this, but your hair isn't purple. It's silver. Sherazard, you were part of a traveling circus, weren't you? How did you come to make Estelle's acquaintance? <laughs> well, you see. Wait, Shara, you don't need to. It's fine. It's an old story. I've been wondering about this for a while, so it's about time I get some goddamn answers. It would have been about 12 years ago now. Our trope had come to Roland to perform. Estelle at that point was even more fearless and curious than she is now. After one of our shows, she strode into our tents with purpose. The purpose of playing. Oh, wow. Is that... Sh oh, Sherazard. You were not developed yet. Circus tropes usually get to meet with some of the suspicion of the residents of the town outside of the performance, you see. As a result, we really weren't sure what to do at first with this girl who came to visit us. But you see, Estelle uh, wasn't exactly a timid girl. She kept coming over every day, and everyone came to love her. Myself, especially, of course. One day, Estelle didn't want to go home until long after the sun had set. Since there wasn't any other choice, I ended up being the one who took her home. That's the day I met Cassius and Lena. Ah, oh, pardon. Lena is Estelle's m late mother. Ah, huh, yeah, this really sounds like Estelle. <laughs> Estelle, you're incredible. Uh, well, I don't remember that much since I was like four back then, but I do remember Cheryl would come by our house anytime the circus was in town after that. That's right. It's not like you visit a lot of different countries out part of the circus and liked it, right? So why do you come to Liberal to be a bracer? You could say a lot happened. Eight years ago was when I decided to become a bracer. I came to Liberal to ask Cassius for help. I had been a Liberal ever since then. Oh, wow! Oh, that reminds me. Was, um, Joshua here in those days? Oh, uh, no. Joshua came to live with us three years after all that. Actually, he showed up when you were in Grantsville during your junior bracer tour, didn't he? That he did. I wondered liberal, spreading goodwill and flowers as bracer as a bracer does, and returned to find a boy I'd never seen live with Cassius and Estelle. To say it was a bit of a shock would be an understatement. Estelle and the others enjoyed some small talk as the morning sun tried to pierce the mist. Finally, with a little tea with through the road, they left the bright house. Aw, oh, that was nice. So we finally know how Estelle came to know Sherazard and Sherazard to know Estelle and vice versa. Even though I said it both ways. Anyhow, shh. 
That's not the point right now. Okay, so I got to see how far stretching this mist is. So if I just go over this way, and I'm also disappointed because if memory serves, there weren't any new things in the quartz shop. The fog cleared. So as long as well, at least highways, fog clears roughly 60 sledge selge from the city. It doesn't seem any monsters in the fog either. So it's ensuring people's safety shouldn't be difficult. Yeah, hopefully. We just need to check on Milch Main Road. Ah, where that bastard monster was in the last game. I remember him well. Gave me no short of problems. I was like, oh, hey, I can do this quest now since I'm on Milch Road. Hey, is that you, Shara? Uh, oh, it's people and stuff. Ridge, heading for Crownsville already? Yep, clients are all packed and ready to go. So get there, I figure I'll poke my head in the Capitol Guildhouse and abuse Elnon's hospitality a bit. Well, keep up the good work. Yeah, you too. Good luck with the fog. Hello, look by the way. The LZ's highway isn't too bad yet. Follow path of ways, you should be able to reach the edge of the fog fairly quickly. Oh, good to hear. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Right, everyone, follow me. Off we go to the capital. Stay close now. Understood, Mr. Bracer. We're counting on you. Oh, that poor bastard. I complain about having to escort one or two NPCs, but he has four of them. I do not pity him in the slightest. All right, what all did I do? I don't remember. Okay, so I bought one of those. Sorry, people. It's like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game. Wait. Why is your whip called an eclair? Eclairs are doughy pastry things of goodness, not things of death. Ah, oh, crap. You know what? Oh, fuck. Shit. No, I just want to talk to you and see. I don't want to talk to you. I want to see your wares. So, spike gear is the thing that I wanted to equip on here. Like I said, forgive me, people. It's been... Oh, fuck. Really? I'm sorry, but 80 points is too much of a thing to ignore. Uh, do Does everybody have their orbments packed? Yep. Did I get the food here? Normally I do all this stuff off camera. I might have. I must have. Holy shit. It's... Okay, fishing spot. I, I know that can wait. And that stuff can wait. Oh. Is there any new quest that you have for me? Nope. So those can wait till I think the end of the chapter. There's no immediate rush for them, so I'm going to take my sweet-ass time for them. No monsters. Oh, you're a big fucking monster. I kind of want to poke you. And not in the fun way. By poke, I mean stab and severely give head trauma to you. That sounds fun to you, then, well, first of all, who the fuck am I to tell you what does and doesn't make a person happy? So, more power to you. <laughs> Secondly, just do so at your own risk. Ugh. Dita, what are you doing out front? I know you're a brave girl, but that doesn't mean you have to be stupid. That's... <sighs> Hmm, Aerostorm. There we go. Yeah, that'll do fine. Just fine. 
Just like Bond. James Bond. Except not at all. <sighs> Shite. Oh, cool. I still got all this stuff out of him with the aerial attack, anyhow. Neato. <sighs> I'm trying to... I'm sorry, like I said, it's been a long time since the previous sessions. I powered through those, and I didn't go back for a while. I don't want to say I was scared away, but the urge to play had dissipated tremendously. Petrify breath. Petrify him, petrify him. Yes, I can growl at people. It's quite a satisfying thing to do. Just don't. Okay, cool. And I mean, not cool that she's hurt and poisoned, but cool that it was just a minor attack like that. Oh, wow. I did not level grind at all. Well, this should make this chapter fun. Uh, what the hell am I doing? I have blood here. Jesus, this is going to be a little bit of a train wreck, people. I apologize. Yay, the fog cleared. 80 Selch. There are monsters creeping around in the fog as well. Could be a threat to travelers. Yeah, that's true. Checked all three roads now, and so... Time to head back and report to Anya, right? I should think of any pressing business. I'd say that's right. Yes, we shall. Actually, is this the way to... Yeah, I want to go say hi to the farm people. They were super nice in the last game, so... Going, stopping by and saying hi probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Arr! Stay away from us, you creeping monster. Hey, guys. What's up? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we'll bring Joshua as soon as Estelle's through with him. Whatever scraps of him may be left. Hey, guys. What's up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably. Nah, Shara, you're being too modest. Mm-hmm. Like a real professional, like you were born for it. Keep on doing make us proud, you hear? Us hometown folk will cheer you on the whole way. Thanks, I won't let you down. Should watch out for your health, though. You're still a grown girl. Okay, where's that? Where's your other daughter? The one that had, well... The one that had to think for Joshua, as I say, then again, a lot of girls did, aside from the one that he wanted, which, Joshua, I feel you, bro. I feel you. <laughs> the one girl that you want doesn't want you. That was high school for me. <laughs> ah, but enough about my... Eh, not, not necessarily true. I have got to her eventually. With enough time, dedication, and perseverance, as well as, you know, not backing down, anything is possible, people. Ah, uh, yeah, we're doing an investigation. Not like a big case or anything. <laughs> yep. No wonder they're so stylish. They look great on you. <laughs> I heard about Joshua from Alicia. Share it's hard on you, Estelle, so if you ever need an ear, mine is, yours at your dis mine is at yours at your disposal. Talk about this kind of stuff makes it a little lighter, you know? Yeah. Thanks, might take you up on that. Well then, Tio... We'll catch you up later. It's been a while. Okay, so there's no secret quest here. Uh, do -do. Ooh, I think... Yeah. I think that'll end it for this episode, so thank you guys. I'm going to get my bearings back and get back in town. So, till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, chest! Yeah!